Well, darn it. I forgot to record an intro video. Well, basically what happens is I follow Morgan Lowe's Instructables article, Toughbook CFU1 Really Available SSD Mod, to upgrade my CFU1, my Panasonic Toughbook CFU1, to an SSD that is 64 gigabytes and a lot faster than the one that was in it. And as you can see from the results, it's actually doing pretty well. It works like a whole new machine now. Well, here's how I do it. Okay, so the SSD on my CFU1 is having some issues, and plus it's pretty slow. So I'm going to upgrade it to use a little M.2 card. And that should require, require an M.2 card, a little converter, and a little zero insertion force, or ZIF cable. Ribbon cable, that is. So here's the SSD. This is a 16 gigabyte SSD on the CFU one. And honestly, it's just been used up too much. So might as well just replace it. Oh, my SD card. Almost forgot about that. So this is the little SSD ribbon cable, or um, actually, I guess yeah, I guess it's a ribbon cable going up to the SSD connector up here. Thankfully, this will hook onto there, so I should be able to. Pop that off. Actually, oh, look at that. We could fit it like that. So that might work. You see up here is a little Hall effect sensor and there's a little magnet in here that allows it to detect when the, the doors are open. Oh, there we go. 64 gigabyte hard disk. Looks like that is the, yep, it's a transcendent, so that's why we have the TS64, 64 gigabytes. Sweet. I'm just going to stick this in here for now, because I think that can fit in there okay. I can come back through later and fasten it down, if it even needs it. It seems pretty snug as it, as it is. Yeah, it's pretty snug. I think I'll spare you guys the boring installation of Windows XP and installation of all the drivers and whatnot. So here's what the benchmark results are for the SSD. Sequential read is 82 megabits per second and sequential write is 54 megabits per second. Far more than the previous SSD, which I believe came out to around 60 or so. But this one has the, or that, that one has the unfair disadvantage because that one was failing, and so I think it was having a lot of sector issues or whatever, like un unwritable sectors or whatever. Uh, uh, sorry, no, reallocated sectors and stuff like that. And this one is a fresh new SSD and isn't having hardly any issues. Everything looks good, 64 gigabytes. Whereas before, it was like warning, your SSD is dying. With the fresh install of Windows XP, I actually have far more capabilities with this computer. Now Undertale and Momodora work. Half-Life works great. 
Actually, to be honest, it works pretty well. But I would kind of expect that for such an old game. Half-Life 2 kind of works. It has some issues with frame rate and whatnot, but oh well. Now, before I had it to where it was about, at about 3 or 4 frames per second. And unfortunately, if if I could get it to render in software mode, then it would, be, it would probably be fine. But it's relying on the crappy graphics card, and so it's only using like 10% of the CPU while the graphics card is holding it back. But unfortunately, all the startup options just aren't working, so I really don't know what to do with this. I spent about two hours trying to get Half-Life 2 to work, and it just it didn't, so... Oh well, I mean, it does kind of work, though, and before it wouldn't even load, so that's kind of cool. Google Earth works far better now than it did before. Especially if I zoom in a good deal. Yeah, now it gets actually pretty, pretty usable. Because what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to use Google Earth coupled with, like, EarthBridge to use GPS sensors to allow me to have a GPS on this thing. Now, I, I know that this originally came with GPS. You could, you could buy it as a spare module, but I don't have access to that, so it has to do with what I have. Oh, and in case you're interested, this is how the... SSD Lux. I have a bunch of episodes of Sailor Moon on here, because why not? And I have Half-Life and a bunch of games loaded on. So I could definitely clean up a lot of space and have a whole load of empty space here. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, this is working out really well. This is a quick little mod and it actually kind of worked. I'll probably open it back up and maybe glue things down to make sure it doesn't move too much, but honestly, it seems like it's doing fine. There seems to be a good amount of pressure b squeezing around the SSD to where it's not going to be moving anyway, so that's pretty much it. I'm really happy with this, and now with this SSD, well, before, it took like 10 minutes for it to turn off. The screensaver would turn on multiple times before it actually turned off. I don't know, something about it. Maybe it was trying to fix this heart, the SSD or something. Something was keeping it on. And now, it's like instant. It's, it's like a brand new machine. I love it. It's so amazing. Boom. Well, guys, that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to start working with the GPS sensor and adding other modifications to it, like maybe a high-powered LED, maybe a laser. GPS is working, so I'm happy with this. It's also a really quick machine. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya.